Hello guys, my name is Robbie Ferry from Girl A Bike Love and in this video we're going to be talking about how to keep your bike safe and secure while you are bikepacking. So what a better way to explain this than going out on a long bike ride. So the first thing to mention when you're out bikepacking is to try and never leave your bike alone. So typically it's going to have everything you need in it. So you've got your sleeping stuff, you've got your clothes, you've got your wallet, your tools. So leaving it out of sight makes it a really vulnerable target from thieves. So just say so you actually do have to leave your bike. I'd highly advise taking a lock, even if it's something as small as this. It's not going to have the best protection ever, but it's going to give you, you know, five, ten minutes that a thief is going to struggle to get through that while you're inside getting coffee or you go into the bathroom or anything like that. One thing I highly advise is locking your bike up properly as well. So although you've got a lock and you can put it through the frame, it still makes things really easy to get for thieves. So you actually want to wire it through your wheel and your frame as well to protect someone coming up and taking your wheels just because your frame's locked up. I would also highly recommend even using a small bag like this when you do have to leave your bike to grab all your valuables you can and put them into the bag so someone doesn't walk up to your bike, see it locked up and start to take things that are yours that are loose on the bike like your Garmin or even things like your camera or even your bags because bikepacking bags aren't cheap. So if you do get to a shop and you go to lock your bike up and you are feeling a little bit unsure, maybe there's some shady characters around, personally I would either wait or ask someone to look after your bike. Bike packing in pairs is always a good way to go because you can have one person standing outside looking after the bikes while one goes in and shops and you can switch. But I'll always say, go with your gut feeling. If you're leaving it somewhere, it's gonna be out of sight and you are unsure, then just don't leave it or wait till you do feel safe. So guys, another really good tip, if you're out bike packing and you can see your bike but you are worried about it getting taken, is to actually just try and make it difficult to move. So a really good way of doing this is to actually put it into the highest gear so it's harder to start and also just putting your helmet around the back wheel and the frame. This is going to take someone that's trying to steal it a little bit longer to, and it's going to give you the chance to get to them, to stop them, before they get away with your bike. So you've got to where you're going to stay for the night. You found a nice location. The first thing I'd recommend is try to be out of the way. So make sure people can't see where you're going and people can't find you or you're not on a regular traffic of path throughout the night. The next thing you want to think about is actually keeping your bike nice and secure. So social media, you can put pictures on, just make sure there's no landmarks in the background or anything and try not to put your location on the internet anywhere because you don't know who's following you. There could be possible people that would come out and take your bike off you or put yourself in a dangerous situation. The next thing I highly recommend is like what we did back at the cafe, putting your helmet onto your actual back wheel and frame means it can be difficult for people to take your bike without making too much noise. I highly recommend doing that again. Although it might sound like being a little bit over cautious, if anyone was to find you sleeping and did want to just quickly pick up and take off with your bike, it would be harder to do if it was tangled up in your helmet. <laughs> 